Is this Aya? Oh, ja, ja. <laughs> I like this one because he's dancing. That surprised me. And then I think it's cool that he put 69 in there. I mean, that's going to get us Americans, okay? <laughs> that's good. I always have really appreciated an artist that can do multiple things. I feel like that was the formula and that was like the bare minimum, the requirement back in the day. And so anytime I see somebody who can do multiple things, it kind of reminds me of like the 90s, you know, when we had those pop stars that could do everything. For me, especially coming up on Disney Channel, if you're gonna do a movie, you're probably gonna sing in the movie and learn choreo. So to me, I was always infatuated by artists who could sing, dance, act, eat, write, everything. Is this Aya? Oh, Jaja. I like this. Oh, who's this? I don't know if she has a rapper on this. I like Aya. I feel like it's tough to make a song that can speak to every language. And so I like that she's like, mm. you know, I feel like that's easy for anyone to learn, you know? Even like her song, Jaja, I don't even know what that means, but I know how it feels. Feels good. She writes a really good song. I know her, and I hope I'm saying her name right. It's Aya. 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 I know her from the song Jaja because I feel like if you can make a song that feels good, it'll probably translate to all the different people who don't speak that language. I don't know what Jaja means, but I like it. Wow, that's cool. I like that. It feels kind of like opera a little bit. That's really cool. I've never heard someone sing like that. And then he kind of has this thing that he does that's like, like, have you ever heard of Masego? He has a thing that kind of reminds me of him too, like some of his vocal choices. That's really cool. And he's rapping too? Nice, I think that's very different. It's very challenging to make a song that stands out and doesn't remind you of someone else, but to do something that I'm like, hmm, I've never heard somebody do that before. That's very impressive. <laughs> He kind of sounds like um, Latin music a little bit, like Bad Bunny type in the music. And then he has a low, low voice, like Pop Smoke. I like that. I feel like mixing, rapping, and singing definitely evolved around the time of Drake. And like T-Pain, um, it became more like, more expected for rappers to sing their own hooks. I miss personally having a rapper and then a singer sing the hooks. That's something that I wanna do more with my debut album because I feel like it's an easy and great way to cross your audiences, you know, and to gain a new fan base from a rapper. A rapper gain, you know, girls that like the hook, you know? So I feel like um, that is something I miss from like the 90s, 2000s, is that combination. I would wanna do more of that. Wow, I like this. One thing I really like is the male and female duet. There's so many different ways to be inspired by a genre, but it becomes pop. Because pop is really just popular, you know? So anything can become popular. Yeah, I do feel like those lines are blurring more, which to me, I, I want them to blur all the way. All the way, because in an ideal world, the pop would be everything. It would be like, 
dancey, Afrobeats, R&B, so that that way nobody has to try and get pop. Whatever is good, is good. Hey, did he just open up for me? Yeah. Mr. No. <laughs> um, he's really dope. I just heard him live because he opened up for me. And it was cool. He had like the two piano situation and the crowd loved him. Really, honestly. So um, I like him. I think he's really talented. It was so cool to have Monsieur No open for me because one i want to i want to give artists a good platform that's what i always wanted when i was coming up and i still want i still have artists that i want you know to help me up to different levels and open doors to different audiences so i try to do that anywhere that i can i'm sorry she had me with those first two english words me like an Adele feel you know like very pretty and then the music is like broken down simple so you focus on like her voice her lyrics that's nice that I like the the lighting the silhouettes cute vocals and challenging songs were what I grew up on mm. my mom was like my manager and we didn't really know what to do so she, she just taught me the songs that she knew so I would have to sing like challenging songs at every audition, like Aretha Franklin, I mean, CeCe Winans, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. She would tell me, if you can sing these songs, you can sing anything, so good luck. I'm like, okay. But yeah, those, those women were who I looked up to. They taught me how to make you feel a song, you know? And um, I use it in songs like I See You. <laughs> 